In this quick tutorial, today we will learn how to unwrap or flatten a sphere to a rectangular surface and then again mold it back to sphere. Please remember that this is not UV unwrap. We are going to create an animation in Blender, as we see here. This tutorial was requested by one of our viewers. So let us start with a simple plane. We need to enlarge it in one dimension, so we will increase this Y scale factor to 2. This has to be exactly 2, and the X scale factor has to be exactly 1. Now go to the object menu and apply the scale factors. Then the rest of the things will be done entirely through geometry nodes. So we need to open the Geo Node Editor, and then create a new node. By default we will get these two input-output nodes. The first thing that we need to do is, subdivide the plane. So let's add a subdivide node from here, and attach to this. Then change the subdivision level to 5. And as a result, the plane will be subdivided in both the dimensions. These subdivisions are very important for this method to work. Now, we need to bend the plane this way, which is around the x-axis. We will do that bending part through another node called Bend Geometry, which should be under the group menu if you have it. You may not find this node in your machine, this node was created by us to bend any object through geometry nodes, instead of using the simple deform modifier, you can download it from the link given below. You can use simple deform modifier as well, but we did not get good results with that, so we switched over to this node. You can use it in various cases, it is super easy, you can bend an object around any axis, by just increasing the corresponding angle, like this. So, we have to first enable this axis correction. Then change the X rotation angle, to full 360. And it will bend the plane like this, but will animate this effect. So let us open another editor here. We need the timeline editor. For frame number 1, we will change the angle to 0. And we need to insert a keyframe here. Then we go to say frame number 70. It should be minus 360 degree for this frame, and we need to also keyframe this value. Now if we run the animation, the plane will slowly convert into a cylinder. For a better display, let us enable the shade smooth option as well. So the first step is done. In the next step we will use a trick, that will force this cylinder to take the form of a sphere. We can think of this cylinder as a collection of rings. So this is how it will then look, let's say it is divided into such rings, along its total length. Now, a sphere would have the same rings but with a different radius at each of these points, so all that we have to do is, just change the radius of each of these circular rings or animate them, and the cylinder will convert into a complete sphere. We can easily do that, by using a set position node, right after this bend node. This node takes the position of each of the vertex points, and moves them to the required position, as defined by these offset values. We need to control the position as per the target radius. It involves a lot of math, so we will add a node group here, which we created beforehand, it's called Calculate Offset Node. Then we have to simply connect this offset to this offset input. And within this Calculate Offset, we have created some node structure like this. You have to create this same structure and save it as a node group for ease of use. Here you can pause the video and take a screenshot of this node setup. Or you can join our channel through the Join button to directly access this blend file. Back to this place, we see a field called FAC in this Calculate Offset, and changing this field will convert the cylinder into a sphere. We have to simply animate this field along with the bending. So go to the first frame, change this value to 0, and also insert a keyframe here. Then we will go to frame number 70. The FAC should be 1, and don't forget to insert a keyframe again. If we now run this, we will see the plane slowly converts into a sphere. Now we need to unwrap it again back to the original plane. So let us go to say frame number 80. We will insert another keyframe for both of them. And finally, say at frame number 150, we have to change it back to zero with a keyframe. And the same for the bending as well. Let us also change the length of this animation to exactly 150 so that it runs in a loop. We are ready with our final output, let's run it and verify. The plane converts into a sphere, and then unwraps into a plane as we expected. You can now add some two-sided texture to this sphere, maybe the map of Earth, and get some attractive result like this. Of course, Earth is not perfectly round, but we understood how to unwrap a sphere into a rectangular plane. 
In a similar way, you can unwrap other geometrical objects as well, with a slight modification to the nodes. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and join this channel.